Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. This is the fifth video of this playlist of this series on graph algorithms for competitive programming. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Bellman Ford algorithm. Now, this is also a single source shortest path algorithm. So, uh, this is single source shortest path algorithm. The only difference between Dijkstra and Bellman Ford is that it works on. It also works on negative edges. And there is already so much content on YouTube about this algorithm, so I won't be talking much about it. But the basic thing that you need to keep in mind is that the runtime is big O of n square. Okay, so you need to be careful where you uh, where you apply this. So only if you see that is it is a single source short, shortest path problem, and the edges can be go negative, and there might be a possibility uh, of negative cycles. Then only you need to apply this algorithm. Otherwise, you need to otherwise you need not worry about it. Okay, so it helps us to detect uh, negative or positive cycles. Okay. Okay. So the key idea, uh, like if I am talking about the key idea of Bellman Ford, is that. So the key idea is uh, relax all edges n minus one times, where n is the number of vertices. And if you do that, um, it guarantees that uh, when I do it at most n minus one times, so the runtime is big of n square. That is why. And if I do that, uh, then I will get the single source shortest path from for the source from the source vertex to every other vertex. And if I do that once more. Like uh, okay, this will guarantee that I have the uh, single source shortest path. But if you want to check for negative cycles, so check. If you want to check for negative cycles, I can do the same thing again. And if the distance still decreases, then this implies that we have a negative cycle. Okay. So in the worst case, it will take n minus one time. Okay, uh, for the distance to decrease and get to the minimum level that it can get. But if you do it once more, and the distance still decreases, then that means that you have a negative cycle. Okay. Now this is actually very standard, and there are a lot of blogs about it. I won't go more deeper about this. Okay. So let's see a problem. You have a. Uh, so this is the problem from CSE's problem set. Uh, the problem name is high score. You play. Uh, you play a game consisting of n rooms and m tunnels. Your initial score is zero. Each tunnel increases your score by x, where x may be both positive or negative. You may go through the tunnel several times. Your task is to walk from uh, one to room n. And what is the maximum score you can get? Okay. Yeah. Now the problem is uh, like okay. Obviously, uh, in this case, my the the value of x is uh, can be positive or negative, right? Yeah. So we have. Uh, Okay, we have each line contains three integers. The weight. Okay, so we have a directed graph, and there are some weights uh, around it, and the weights can go negative in this case. And we want to see what is the maximum score that we can get. So actually, we can. Uh, this problem is based on Bellman Ford. How? Uh, because you might get confused that it is not talking about uh, negative uh, negative cycle. It is talking about the maximum that you can get. But there might be a case like let's say you are here. And there are, there is a positive cycle. Okay, so let's say three, two, and minus one, five minus eight, and uh, let's say uh, this is the end node, and uh, so this is our end node, and let's say the weight is one. So what uh, the optimal way, if you try to go about it, uh, a case that might happen is that you are. Uh, you are caught in this uh, positive loop, so you, and then uh, you go here. So the actual answer that you might get is the infinity. Uh, I mean, like that, it might happen. So we want to detect this and print. Uh, I think it is it was written. However, if if you can get an arbitrary large score, then you can print minus one. So this is the case that we want to account for. So first, we need to detect for a positive cycle. And if I can, if there is a possibility that I can reach from this node to this node, then I have to print a minus one. 
So in this case, I have to detect positive cycle instead of negative cycles and print the answer. So let's see the code. This time I won't be coding it, but uh, I will show you the code. Okay, so first we take NNM as input and the graph. Then we have distances currently my, since I want to maximize the distance, I will keep the distance uh, initial distance as minus infinity or a very large number. Now, uh, now the key idea is this is the big O of n square loop. So I'm relaxing every edge n minus one times. So if distance of i is not equals to then uh, I'm doing this, like if I can maximize it, let's just maximize this. And this ensures that this is the maximum that I can get. And now if I will, I will try to do this same thing once more. This is the very same, very same code. And if I did this, uh, and the distance is still increasing, this means that I have, did, uh, I have encountered a positive cycle. And now I just need to check if I can get from this node to the uh, nth node. So this is the simple BFS code. Uh, so if, if I can uh, go from here to the nth node, then I can simply say that the answer is minus one. If I can't, then I will just simply continue and try some other nodes. Okay. So that was the code and I hope you were able to understand this. Uh, kindly like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any doubts, you can comment on this video. I will see you guys next time with another concept. Thank you.